The search engine Bing has clung onto life for almost two decades, probably because operating costs are virtually zero due to no one ever using it. That said, today could be the turning point. It was announced that ChatGPT will be integrated into Bing with web results returned alongside a ChatGPT rundown that attempts to answer the search query. This search engine is already out and there is a waitlist to join. I haven't gotten in yet, but there are a few examples of what the search engine looks like on their website. Let's explore it. The first one creates a three course dinner with websites linked to each dish. This is superior to Google where each dish would be Googled individually without any attention to what goes together. There are also options to ask additional questions about the recipes. However, in reality, people are probably either searching for a specific dish and just want a website with a full recipe, or they are looking broadly to watch others make food. The utility is there, but I doubt this specific example will be what people are after. This second example is about planning a trip within a search radius. This is where I can see Bing Chime. This type of result is annoying to search for on Google and is filled with a bunch of ads that aren't helpful. I'd be curious to know how ads would be treated in general in a chatbot generated result. It would seem hard to incorporate them directly into the model, but I'm sure there's a way. Anyway, this will be better than Google, at least until people figure out how to monetize it. The next one demonstrates writing a poem. I don't see anything from the web directly integrated into this result, so in general it doesn't look any different from ChatGPT. The same goes for generating code. If it were integrated into the web, I could see getting help with new Python modules being possible. The example doesn't show anything like that though. Overall, this looks promising and I hope to test it out soon. Stay tuned for more updates.